Anatomy and Physiology 2, the Respiratory System Dissection. This video will review some of the major features of the respiratory system in the fetal pig. This is the oral cavity of the fetal pig, anterior is to the left. The ridged structure is a hard palate, and just posterior to that is the soft palate. Posterior to that is the opening that leads up into the nasopharynx in the nasal cavity. The tongue is labeled there on the bottom, and the epiglottis is the structure that can close and block off the trachea. The esophagus is shown here for reference. It passes food from the oral cavity down towards the stomach. Uh, we're more interested here in the airways. Um, so that starts superior with the larynx. The larynx is a large structure uh, that we term the voice box, and it leads into the trachea. The trachea clearly has cartilaginous rings that um, make it easy to identify. The trachea eventually, as it leads into the thoracic cavity, bifurcates into two passageways, and these are the primary bronchi. The left primary bronchus is labeled here. Air then enters the lungs. The diaphragm, shown on the right-hand side, is that muscle that can contract and increase the volume of the thoracic cavity. It's innervated by the phrenic nerve. The largest structure of the larynx is the thyroid cartilage. It looks a little bit like a shield. Just inferior to the thyroid cartilage is a ring of cartilage called the cricoid cartilage. Another structure you should be familiar with is the thyroid gland. It's been removed here, but it might look like some tissue that's been pushed off to the side of the larynx. It's the endocrine gland that synthesizes thyroid hormones and calcitonin.